Hey everyone, it's Pete Lavelle, also known as a Crazy Commissioner, coming to you. And uh, my place is a complete mess right now. Uh, we just came back from a, a, a road trip going cross country. And uh, we tried to keep with the dollar, excuse me, the budget uh, type camping style stuff uh, to kind of keep the weight limit down. Uh, because although we drove cross country, we also flew back in. We had to minimize how much weight that we uh, were bringing back. So when we went over a few of these items, uh, that pertain to cooking. A lot of people uh, reached out to me and said they like the cooking concepts and a lot of cooking stuff, so I'm gonna share it with you. Uh, I showed you uh, this before. This is a butane stove that we had picked up at Aldi for like $10, uh, which is awesome. Now, according to your needs or your unit's needs, okay, if you're trying to look at costs and try to keep the cost down uh, for cooking and stuff, up front, this is very, very cost effective because these are $10 a uh, piece for these stoves and the butanes are about $2 a can and they do last a while. So uh, we went away for a week. Uh, we did some cooking and, and boiling some water and stuff like that. And we went through two cans and maybe a tenth of the third one. So it worked. But this is a $10 stove. And then what we did was we also utilized the case as a serving tray. So we made some steak and some hot dogs and some uh, some cooked salami and a few other things and we lined uh, the case up with uh, aluminum foil and we were able to put the stuff on there after they came off the grill, the fire and everything else. So it worked wonders. So I'm going to put this down and then I did something else that I, that I showed you before. This is a collapsible water container and it holds, I believe it's about five gallons and it worked wonders while we're out there. Uh, so you can have something there to wash your hands, wash your face, do whatever you need. Uh, it's also excellent if you have water in there, you leave it out overnight and it becomes nice and cool or you have nice cold water first thing in the morning. Uh, so it worked great. And then before we left, uh, I picked this up for about $2.44 at a thrift shop. A lot of people may look at this uh, kind of kettle and like, well, it's kind of, you know, oversized or whatever, but it's real lightweight. And uh, to pack it, you could pack a few things in there. If you get shirt, socks, whatever, just pack it, just throw it in your backpack, whatever, or just put your food or whatever you want. But $2.44, we were able to boil water in this. We were also able to uh, boil uh, or make some coffee out of this thing as well. And then I picked up a spatula, a wooden spoon, and a fork. And what I did was I also tossed in, I have like four extra paring knives in the kitchen. And I took it and tossed it in for cutting. So it worked wonders. Uh, it did what it was supposed to do. Uh, this one, I attribute this uh, concept to a very good uh, friend of mine, mentor, and also a commissioner, Jeff McCool, uh, for utilizing this concept of taking an old takeout uh, container and you have a plate and a bowl. And what I did was I just stuffed it in with the pot, just if I needed to boil something or cook something in there. I have a little cup in there, my foldable spoon and fork, salt and pepper. And let's have some aluminum foil, just in case I need for foil packing or just to cover or to line this up uh, if I don't want to get it dirty. And then I've added this small little frying pan, which we did utilize while we're out camping, and it worked great. Uh, we had some uh, hot dogs and beans one night, and this just served excellent. So, you take that, close this up, take that back in, that folds, pops in, and it holds it all together. Thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on uh, Crazy Commissioner on Facebook and Instagram. You could also follow me on Twitter at Crazy Commish. I hope everybody has a good day. Carpe Diem, Attitude Reflects Leadership, and I'll talk to you all soon.